My name is Harvey Lacey and this is about our RecyclePlasticBlockHouses.com or Ubuntu Blocks as my grandsons have named it. This is my good buddy from Kenya, Ronald Mnyanga. The skinny and the fat. <laughs> okay, he, Ronald is the one who inspired the machine to make the block houses, the recycled plastic block houses. We are now going to watch him make his own block for the first time. Where is the grandson with the blocks? <laughs> the bags. What we do is we take these bags here and they're full of uh, styrofoam and other bags. Come over here and load them up. We try to get, my wife is wants those bows to be facing each other. Yes, she does not like to see them hanging out. She says that looks ugly even though they're going to be covered over with cement. This will have over a half of a large uh, lawn bag full of uh, broken up styrofoam and about 25 uh, Walmart bags together. Okay. What we do is we push them down a little bit. Okay, right hand down, right there. Now that little knob is to make it easier if you won't need it. Fine. Okay, Ron. Now comes the fun part. One of the problems is how do you get the foam to stay? What we do is we use the wire and we come across. Now, my problem was how do I make something where that a small frame person can, with little strength, can make this tight? What I come up with is a simple T handle that has a slot in the end. And the way it works. It goes in, we set it down right there like that. We take the end here, wrap this like this. Come over here, Ronald. Stand on that side over here. Okay. Take this by both hands and pull the top and just pull it over to you. Yeah. It's very leverage. The, 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 the motion is the same here. Push that wire up through here. The, the, the motion is the same that your truck drivers do. When they bind down a big load of cargo, they have those the binders. It's the same exact, same exact motion. You put it in here. You take a bite and just pull it on over. And this year's. Well, I don't know about that. I'm sure that there's some politician somewhere that couldn't do it. Yeah. There, you're going down a little far. Okay, um, there you go. Okay. Oh, hold on. Now when you take it, take it and just pull it straight on over. Okay, Ronald, I'll tell you what, you can unscrew it. Stephanie Hunt come by and we had the uh, no plasters on it everything looked like this and she says we got to leave it looking like that so people can see how it's made and I go oh no well in some kinds of construction that's alternative construction they'll leave a truth window and this is this represents a truth window which shows you exactly how it's made I would never have went this far with this product except for the fact that somebody says, I believe you can do it. And what they did is they magnified 
my potential. So Ronald Amyanga is the one who's the hero in this. There was one other hero, and that was uh, Stephanie Hunt. And what happened was Ronald was telling her at the Hunt Institute that she needed to talk to me. And when we did, she said, will you build a house for our uh, Engineering Humanity Week? Well, this would, could only be compared to somebody with an imaginary car in an imaginary garage being asked to deliver that car or deliver that car and display it at the Detroit Auto Show. And I told her I could because once again, she believed in me. You know, the power, the magnification of, of believing in somebody.